Jessica Frost Ballas here, and I'm so excited to be guesting for my favorite things. Today, I've created an interactive twist and turn card using the new Mini Cafe All Day Dynamics and Cup of Love with two of my all time favorite critters. So let's get started. As you can see, I die cut all my elements before I began. I used a Nina 110 pound solar white cardstock, prestige cardstock in cement gray gravel gray and black licorice, and steel gray cardstock to die cut all the elements of my friendly fox and raccoon cutie, and red hot Nina and craft cardstock for my coffee cups. I also die cut the twist and turn interactive elements twice using Nina 110 pound solar white cardstock. Then I added a little distress oxide blending to my raccoon, fox, and cups. I blended pumice stone on all the white parts of their faces and spun sugar on their ears with a blending brush. Then I added hickory smoke to the cement gray cardstock on the raccoon's body. Next, I added just a touch of black soot to the gravel gray cardstock for the fox's body. I also added a slightly heavier hand of black soot to the steel gray cardstock for the raccoon's tail and eye mask. Next, I blended a little vintage photo to the coffee cups and aged mahogany to the coffee cup sleeves. Finally, I used Copic markers to add accents to the whipped cream and coffee cup lid. I used E41, E43, T0, and T2. Next, I assembled the raccoon's tail and face with liquid adhesive. I also assembled the fox's tail and the coffee cups. I'll need to die cut the critter's bodies to accommodate the interactive element, so I didn't want to assemble the fox layers until after the die cutting was done. Off camera, I stamped the pull direction onto the long tab. Then I adhered the two layers of the twist and turn interactive dynamics together. I like Laura Davalo's advice to double up the layers for more stability in the interactive mechanism. I adhered the longer pieces together with ATG adhesive and then used liquid adhesive to adhere my tiny circles together. I layered the circles four times. Next it was time to assemble the twist and turn mechanism. I used mini brads to attach the mechanism together and gave it a quick pull to make sure it would move smoothly.
Then it was time to create the rest of my card. I started by blending cracked pistachio, peacock feathers, and blueprint sketch distress oxide ink onto a panel of white cardstock. Once it was dry, I splattered it with water a few times and blotted off the excess before trimming it down to an A2 panel. I took a minute to plan out my critters just to make sure there was room for everything, and then I used a pencil to mark the circles of my twist and turn mechanism. Then I took a second A2 panel of white cardstock and lined it up behind my blended background. I placed both panels on a foam mat and used a piercing tool to poke holes through my pencil marks. Then I attach the twist and turn mechanism to the white cardstock panel. I took the long circle die from the twist and turn dynamic set and centered each circle over the holes before die cutting them. I also use the individual circle dies from the set to die cut the raccoon and fox's bodies. Then I assembled the fox's body and trimmed any overlap from the die cut circle. Then it was time to put my card together. I applied a double layer of foam mounting tape around my mechanism, making sure that nothing would impede the movements of the twists and turns. Then I carefully peeled off half the backing, attached the front blended panel, and then removed the rest of the adhesive backing to seal the card. Next, I used liquid adhesive to adhere my layered circles over each brad before adding my critters. I also glued the critter's arms to the cups and trimmed off the excess as if they were holding the cups. You'll see that I eventually realized that the fox's paws weren't quite at the right angle, so I ended up peeling them off and redoing the cup sleeves and paws.
After the critters were adhered, I added a single layer of foam mounting tape to the back of each cup at the top and bottom, but did not remove the adhesive backing. This just gives a little stability to each cup since they're only adhered to the card with a small foam dot. Then I added a foam dot over each brad and adhered the cups. When you pull the tab, the cups twist and turn. Next, I stamped a sentiment from Cup Love onto licorice cardstock and heat embossed it with white embossing powder before trimming it down to a thin fishtail banner. I adhered it to the card and then adhered the card panel to a top folding card base. I added a few accents with a white gel pen and then finished the card with a layer of crystal glaze and a little chunky glitter on the whipped cream. I love how perfectly sized the mini cafe all day dynamics are for the adorable critters and I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks so much for stopping by and have a fantastic day. Happy crafting!